These pencils, I don't need them anymore. Today I'm going to show you the undisputed best pencil for the woodworker. Hi, I'm Ron Polk and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you want to get a detailed set of plans to build a smart wood shop for yourself or one of my workbenches, there's a link in the description of this video down below. A fact of life for all woodworkers is we need to make marks on wood so we can make accurate cuts. The carpenter's pencil, these square pencils, are a mainstay. I've used these my entire career. I still use them. When I am framing, this is the pencil that I use. I have a little sharpener. It's an interesting sharpener in that it will take these square pencils and put a point on them. Not only will it do these square pencils, it'll do standard pencils and even big fat pencils. If I can find one I'll, uh, on Amazon, I'll put it in my store. I don't find these pencils to be the best when I'm doing finish work, which is what I do most of the time. I just don't get fine enough mark to get the accuracy that I'm looking for. For years, I have told you about and been using these Fat Boys. They have a really big lead and they tended to hold up pretty well, but I also ran into a similar problem with these that I have with the carpenter pencils, and that's keeping a sharp enough point to make the fine mark that I want to make. I always keep some of these cheap uh, lead. These are just the mechanical pencils, and I grabbed one of those out, and I was using it, and it was working out great. I was breaking the tip off quite a bit, but you know, you just push the button. So I decided to look around on the market there's so many brands and variations of this i'm not sure how you distinguish one from another but i just went with the fit and feel of these here from tall t-u-l and i picked up a couple of sevens point sevens and a couple of point fives because i wanted i wanted to go with the point five if it would hold up if it wouldn't keep breaking and breaking but just in case i got the point seven so i've been using them back and forth and I have found the 0.5 is working as far as durability for me as well as the 0.7. So I tend to grab the 0.5. If I can find this Toll brand, uh, I'll put it in my Amazon store. If you use that link, of course, they'll, Amazon will share a little bit with us and won't charge you any extra. I'm not exactly sure why these Toll's tips are holding up a little bit better. I'm using the same lead, so it isn't the lead. I'm not so sure, but they have a fatter tip and it's chamfered down. And whereas the, the, this uh, mechanical pencil I have, it's got a long straight tip on it. And I'm not sure if it's, if it's just because there's more meat to this. It's kind of a nice eraser. It's a really long eraser and you um, rotate it out. This pops off and I'm able to store lead inside. So I have everything with me that I need. So I don't need a sharpener. I don't need to carry a separate eraser. It's just kind of fit in the bill. For me, the decision is easy. These pencils, I've got my one mechanical pencil and my framing pencil. If you've learned anything, if you'd like to see me make more, then be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember to ring the bell so you'll know when I put up a new video. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.